All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And to answer today's question, what could possibly, what could possibly be better than a free laser engraver? Well, some of you asked for it. Some of you messaged me and said, please do this before you give it away. And guys, I thought it was a pretty good idea. So that's what we've done. But I've taken the free laser and I have done everything I can come up with to make this thing more productive, more organized, a little cooler looking and a lot more functional. So I've taken a good laser and I made a pretty great laser out of it. So stick around, I'm gonna show you some of the upgrades, give you an update for the giveaway. I think I finally got a time nailed down for said giveaway. Uh, and I'm gonna just make sure everybody is well informed. So don't miss this video, stick around. We're gonna go through how you too could win this if you haven't already registered. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so some of you are probably already familiar with the machine, but you've not seen the machine as it sits today. I spent the past week or so using it, testing it, running it through the paces, and while I was doing that, I was also trying to find reasons and ways that uh, I could improve it, and I have done so. So we're gonna go over that first with you. Uh, as you can tell, with the machine, the only couple of things running the machine, using it on small projects and stuff that I came up with that was kind of uh, irritating uh, was the cable management on the back. I understand this is a budget machine and in it being a budget machine, uh, not a lot of money is spent on cable management. But luckily through the power of 3D printing and CAD design, I have been able to correct a couple of issues with the cable management. Uh, but we're gonna start right here up front and show you the upgrades. These parts will be shipped and the file for uh, the jig kit will be shipped with this machine, by the way. I tried to keep everything small enough to where I can just tuck the little pieces away and whoever wins the machine will get it as it sits right here. Uh, minus the, the, the big jig panels. I may have to uh, let you guys cut your own panels because there's not enough extra room in the box, but I will include the file that is needed to cut this panel and if you don't have it or if you're not the lucky winner of the machine and you have the machine uh, all these uh, files for these parts can be found on my Etsy shop and there's as always there's a link down below to my Etsy shop so feel free to go pick those up if you have the machine and you want to upgrade yours uh, with these parts especially if you have a 3d printer if you don't have a 3d printer but you got a friend that's got a 3d printer then get them to print these for you uh, but what I've done here is I've taken the machine and I'm gonna pull it up here where you can see it. I've created this little holder here. This is for that uh, focus tool that is very critical that you have it, but it's a little pain to keep up with without a place to put it. So I created a little nest for it there. I've also decided that it needed a little color up front. So what I've done is I've created a little insert here. This is actually just a file off a of Thingiverse. So the person that wins this one will get this, but that's not my file, so I can't sell it. But you can go to Thingiverse and you can find these extrusion inserts. Uh, they're all over the place. So I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. You can go get those off of Thingiverse. But the, the other part that I did, and I've come up with this design for the Sculpt Fun machines that I've had here a while back, but these are little twist clips that twist into the extrusion and in, when you put it in the extrusion and twist it, uh, it makes a little clip for you to hold the wires. And all of these pieces insert just simply, like, like this little guy here, I can rotate this thing 90 degrees and it pops out. They all use the same little mechanism on the back to kind of hold themselves into the little tracks on the extrusion. So once you get it in there, you just rotate it 90 degrees, you'll feel it kind of be, it can be hard to turn and then all of a sudden it'll get easy. That's when the cam kind of turns around and uh, lets it lock. Now I will tell you, if you take those off and put them back a lot using PLA, they will get to where they won't stay. So you don't want to take that off and on no more than you have to. Let me pick up this focus tool before I lose it, even having a little holder. But I made the little holder a little loose because the first prototype was a little tight and you had to fight to get it out of there. So this one's a little more loose, but that lets you know where it's at at all times. And placing it where I did, it's out of the way of the gantry. It's away from the work area over near the edge, so it kind of gets it out of your way. Uh, also included with this machine 
on the thumb drive or SD card or whatever I stick in the box with all the files. I'm going to also include my customized light burn setup file that I have for the machine, which has all of the uh, park location as far as after the job is complete, it goes back here and gets out of the way. Uh, I've turned on the framing for the diode, all that good stuff. All of those will be on the digital files that you will receive with the machine if you're the lucky winner. Now, the other thing that I have built, and this is my interchangeable jig kit, and the way that this works is just like with all the rest of my machines I've covered, is this basically is just a little template that, and I've dropped that darn focus tool again. <laughs> I, should, I should have probably put some Velcro in the bottom of that. But this is basically just a piece of Luan that I've cut and I've created the shape. And what it does is it allows you to place it on the back legs of the machine and then interchange different panels to create different jigs. But this allows you to create files, and I'm not gonna go into this, guys, because there's plenty of videos, but it allows you to create files and save it as a jig file. So if you wanna engrave business cards next time, you just open that saved file, make sure that you have this aligned in the correct position that you made the file in, and you send it. And there's not a lot of, not a lot of setup time, so it makes it a little more efficient. And now the machine and the jig kit are one piece. Uh, it is made to where you can't accidentally cut it with a laser. So it's out of the work area of the laser. If you're doing other jobs, you can leave that up there. You can also place your honeycomb up here and just kind of use this to square your honeycomb up as well. Uh, I have a bunch of different jigs. But anyway, that is, uh, that's what that's for. And by doing little jigs like this allows you to be able to do multi-layered mirrors. Now I just did a little testing on some mirrors to see how this one done. And I did the Aishmer uh, logo in orange with a black border. Now, I didn't get my settings exactly right, uh, but it turned out pretty well. That's the Aishmer logo. And I did that using my jig kit. And the way that it works, guys, is with mirrors. And I've got plenty of videos on making mirrors, so I didn't want to recreate that. But if that's something you're interested in, I will drop a video down below showing you the full step of how I go about making these uh, these multi-layered mirrors. But in order to do these, you gotta have a jig. And so I made this little jig kit just simply by cutting a square underneath it and then cutting this little piece of, uh, around the edge out as a tray. And you just take that mirror and place it in there and then you lock this into the teeth on the jig system. Well now, every time you burn this mirror, you're burning the exact same place. That allows you to do multiple layers on the mirror. And that's something that is not easy to do if you're having to frame each job. This is one of those jobs, if you're doing multiple colored mirrors, that you almost have to have a jig kit to be able to pull that off. So that's it, guys. Uh, instead of getting a bare bones, stripped down laser, you're going to be getting, if you're, the, if you're the lucky winner, and if you're not the lucky winner, guys, I will drop a, a link down in the description below, and you can order one of these machines if you're wanting to get into it. This thing right now, because Aishmer is having their third anniversary celebration, they've been having it on sale. The last time I checked, which has been in the last week or so, this machine retail for $199. Now, you buy a machine for $199, yes, it's a 5 watt. It's not going to be doing a lot of cutting. This is in no way going to be a machine that I would recommend for somebody that's going to be doing a lot of cutting of any material thicker than 2 to 3 millimeters. Uh, that's kind of where I would stop with trying to cut with this machine. But you can do it. It's just going to take multiple passes and you can engrave all kinds of things. Uh, so you, you get this machine for $200, comes with limit switches, which is, you know, a plus. So far, it's rigid. It's consistent. You can see this mirror. I actually ran like four or five passes on the mirror because I didn't have my settings just right. But it hit the same spot every time. So as far as accuracy and consistency, so far I've had a really good results with the machine. And not only can you get the machine for 200 bucks, but you can go spend another $8 in the Clack Shack Etsy shop and print yourself out these files and get all the all the add-ons here that I have in this machine if you choose to do so. So I think it's a really great machine for somebody that's just starting out or just wants to engrave. Your mediums are going to be limited to uh, cardstock, chipboard, uh, three millimeter woods, uh, three millimeter acrylics, things like that. That's gonna be kind of your, your 
medium that I would suggest for this machine. But now, one thing that you can add to that that doesn't take a whole lot of power, that's the mirrors. You can do the multicolored mirrors. You see the one that I've got in the background of my clack shack over here. I've, in case you wanna do those, and you would have to use three millimeter of material if you're using this machine, but I also have files that you can use to make a frame for said mirror, and you can even backlight it using the frames. So it's a, it's a good laser for getting started. Uh, I think with the low uh, entry cost of this machine, of $200, it wouldn't take long. It wouldn't take long at all for you to make your money back just selling engravings to you know friends, neighbors, family, people in the community, people at church, people that go to school with your kids, that kind of thing. You could recoup $200 relatively quick uh, because most everything that I do, if I do an engrave, I'm gonna do it for like 25 bucks, even for a small engrave because I'm, I'm having a charge for design time and setup time. So at $25 a job, if you could only make $25 a job, you know, what's that, eight jobs, and you've got the majority of your money back, nine jobs, and you're into making profit, uh, even at $25 per burn. So not a bad little starter machine for anybody. I do like the colors of the machine that uh, Acemer decided to go with. I like to think that maybe I influenced that decision. That's probably not the case, but in any event, I have added a little more Clack Shack Orange to this machine. So the lucky winner of this machine will get a fully customized Clack Shack machine. Oh, one final touch for whoever wins the machine. I will be including a couple of extra stickers, but just for good measure, guys, so that nobody can argue where the machine come from, we will uh, have a Clack Shack sticker right here on the top of the module. So if you see somebody has the machine, it's probably, it's probably the Clack Shack machine. Uh, but folks had mentioned they wanted me to sign it, autograph it. But guys, that's not really something I do a lot of, but I have completely customized this machine. I have got it work ready for whoever gets it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to tear it apart, put it back in the box to ship it to you. So you're gonna get to learn how it goes back together. Uh, but the instructions were, were pretty clear on it. So shouldn't be a big deal there. And if you run into problems, guess what? You can email me and uh, I can help walk you through the setup process. But anyway, guys, I just wanna give you guys an update. And if you have it already, Get your name in the hat for the drawing. I'm on over, a little over 1,200 people so far have signed up to win the machine. I would like to reiterate, this machine, because of the way I'm, I'm having to ship it, is going to be continental U.S. only. In the future, because I, I do feel bad that I'm leaving my guys out in Canada and, you know, South America. and We've got people all over the country that are getting left out of the, the, the giveaways. I kind of feel bad about that. So the next giveaway that I do, I plan to either collaborate with a company that can shift ship internationally or do another Amazon drop ship. So if those are things you're interested in guys, be sure to subscribe, hit the follow button on Facebook, keep up with what's going on here. I do want to do more of it because I've, I've had some pretty good feedback from people and you know, saying that they think this is pretty cool to be able to, you know, help get people started and help people that may have a machine that's broken or whatever. So this is probably going to become more frequent here at the shack. But if you hadn't already, go to my uh, webpage, uh, www.theclackshack.com. And all you got to do, guys, is just Google theclackshack.com. It'll pop up. Go up to the top and enter the drawing for the P1S Pro. It gets a little confusing. Uh, register for that giveaway. Also, uh, Acemer has told me, and I'm, I'm going on their word, guys, and I'm passing their word on to you. They have told me that once I award the machine to someone, if I send them the address, they're gonna ship you a honeycomb to go with the machine. So you'll have pretty much everything you need to get started except for light burn. And that's a simple download for a free trial. You will have a fully functioning clactical laser at your fingertips and be able to start making almost immediately as soon as you put it together. Uh, but like I said, go let, let Acemer know that you appreciate this, uh, this machine and you appreciate them collaborating with me in order to bring you this machine and hopefully there'll be more of that in the future with not only Acemer but other companies as well i think it's a really good way to give back to the community so go check out the links if you're interested in just purchasing one and uh, make sure you're signed up for the drawing a week from tomorrow and if, if you stuck around and you watch this video to the end <laughs> you're one of the lucky ones because a week from tomorrow 
our life, not tomorrow's life, not, not tomorrow's, but a week from tomorrow, we will be picking a winner. I'll have this thing packed back up, ready to go. We'll be picking a winner for the drawing. So I'm going to put a post out also, but you guys that are watching this video are going to get the first heads up. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it to like middle of next week before I announce the date of the giveaway. So you got a little clack shack inside information going on there. But until next time, guys, be safe and have a good day.